Hi! In today's video, we'll be diving deep into learning all about non-custodial wallets. Welcome to Silver Art Coin, where we bring you quick facts, information, trending news, and economic benefits on the various altcoins in the cryptocurrency and DeFi space. We try to make our videos simple, short, and easy to understand. So let's dive in. The explosion in popularity and use of cryptocurrency has driven the increase in cryptocurrency use. Many people have questions about how to store their cryptocurrency safely. Cryptocurrency cannot be found in physical form. Instead, it is a collection of codes. Crypto can be stored on the blockchain with a unique address and for others to send you crypto assets, they'll have to use your public key. You, in turn, can use your private key to unlock the crypto assets stored in your wallet. Because it is one of the most important decisions to make before investing in cryptocurrency, people are most concerned about choosing the right crypto wallet. This video provides an in-depth overview of the different types of crypto wallets that you can choose from, depending on your needs. So, what is a crypto wallet? A crypto wallet can be described as an application that serves as a wallet to store your cryptocurrency. It's called a wallet because it acts in the same way as a regular wallet where you put your cash and cards in. It does not hold these items physically. A crypto wallet does not hold Bitcoin or altcoins physically. Instead, it stores your pass keys and allows you access to your crypto whenever you need them. Cryptocurrencies are not necessarily stored anywhere. They are simply bits of data kept in a central database. These bits of data are scattered across the database. The wallet will find all the bits associated with your public address and add them together in the app's interface. A wallet is an amalgamation of public and private keys. Hmm. Now that we have some understanding of what a crypto wallet is, what are public keys and private keys? The terms public and private keys are very crucial to understanding how wallets and crypto transactions work. These keys generate an alphanumeric ID called address. This address is the location from which coins can reach the blockchain. While the address can be shared for receiving funds, private keys cannot be disclosed. The private key is for the wallet owner to know and keep private. When someone sends any cryptocurrency like BTC, Cardano, Polkadot, or any other altcoin to your crypto wallet, they aren't actually transferring any physical coin. One way to describe what they're doing is to say that they are signing off ownership of their crypto on the blockchain to your wallet's address. Now, to do this, they require two codes, a public key and a private key. A public key is a string of letters and numbers generated automatically by the crypto wallet provided to aid transactions. For example, the public key could look like this. V1FBERP57I4Y268VHZ51J046 A string of numbers and letters. A private key can be another string of numbers, letters, or a combination of both. However, only the owner of the wallet should know and have this. You can think of a cryptocurrency wallet as an email account. To receive an email, people need your email address. This address is your public key in the case of crypto wallets. It's important to share this information with others so that you can send or receive crypto funds. However, you wouldn't ever give someone your password to access your email accounts. Now, would you? I don't think so. That password is what crypto wallets call your private keys. They should never be shared with anyone or they could get access to your crypto funds. 
by using both the public and private keys, an, addition, an individual is able to use their crypto wallet to conduct transactions on the blockchain safely. To authenticate any funds received or sent to your digital wallet or vault, your public key must match your private. So once both keys have been verified, the balance of your crypto wallet will be updated accordingly. So now that we have a better understanding of public and private keys, it is important to know that Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies don't get hacked. It's the devices that store private keys that do get hacked. Some wallets keep these private keys offline and other wallets or exchanges often hold them for you online. So, what types of cryptocurrency wallets are there? Crypto wallets can be broadly classified into two main types, custodial and non-custodial. Custodial wallets are hosted by a third party that stores your keys for you. Third parties like crypto exchanges. Non-custodial wallets, on the other hand, allow you to take full responsibility for your keys. This is the most common cryptocurrency wallets available in the market today. There are two subcategories of wallets, hot and cold. They are distinct in that hot wallets can be connected to the internet, while cold wallets must remain offline. They can be classified into software-based wallets or hardware-based wallets. In essence, you can have a non-custodial software hot wallet, a non-custodial hardware code or hot wallet, or a custodial hardware code wallet. These are the most common types, but you may also encounter other combinations. In this video though, we'll keep our focus on non-custodial wallet types. So, what are hot wallets? Hot wallets are digital tools that cannot be disconnected from the internet. They need an internet connection to work. Hot wallets are software apps that can be access accessed through your smartphone, laptop, or desktop computer. They allow you to track your currencies and trade them. You can also access some hot wallets from your browser. This means you can use them across a variety of devices. The number one feature hot wallets have going for them is convenience. Hot wallets have the greatest advantage of being easy to access. Your private and public keys are encrypted and stored on your wallet's website or app. They are ideal for people who trade frequently and those who plan to spend their coins. Hot wallets can be accessed online, which means they are more vulnerable to cyber attacks. And hackers are always looking for a way to exploit and any vulnerabilities in your wallet software. And this is especially more concerning for web wallets hosted on crypto exchanges. Now, that was hot wallet, but what are cold wallets? Cold wallets are a type of wallet that allows for crypto storage, but are kept offline to improve security. These wallets are more like a traditional safe or vault. Now, cold wallets are used to stop digital keys offline on a piece or sheet of paper or hardware. Paper wallets are obsolete now, but technically, you know, they have to be do with your keys being stored or written on a paper and locked up safely somewhere. They can be accessed via QR codes printed out on paper or engraved on another material. Anyway, hardware wallets are usually in the form of a USB drive that allows you to trade, buy, and sell crypto while connected to a computer. Because cold wallets aren't connected to the internet, they offer greater security. To lose funds from a cold wallet, it would have to be physically taken away from you. Cold wallets are offline and do not require internet connectivity. So, what are software wallets? 
Most software wallets that are connected to the internet fall under the hot wallet category. And there are many types, but the most popular are web wallets, desktop wallets, and mobile wallets. Hey, it seems there's a lot of wallet types here, but stay with me. Remember, main categories are custodial or non-custodial. Then the non-custodial being wallets that you have the responsibility of protecting your keys yourself. And they can be hot or cold depending on whether they are connected to the internet or not. Now, moving on. Hot wallets are mostly software based and there are many types, but the most popular are web wallets, desktop wallets, and mobile wallets. With web wallets, you can access the wallets through your browser. You don't need to in install any special software or your phone on your computer to access web wallets. A mobile wallet is software that you can install on your smartphone or tablet. And sometimes these apps may not be hosted, so you will need to save and manage your private keys in order to access your cryptos. Some common examples you may have heard of are Trust Wallet and Coinbase Wallet. Now, this Coinbase Wallet is not the same as the Coinbase crypto currency exchange. No. As a matter of fact, you don't need to open an account in the exchange to have this wallet. Desktop wallet, on the other hand, are like mobile wallets, that, but they are, are stored on the PC. Some popular examples are Exodus Wallet, Electrum Wallet, and Metamask Wallet. Many of these wallets provide cold storage options to increase security. Now, a desktop wallet is considered somewhat safer and more secure than both a web wallet and mobile wallet. However, that depends on your ability to keep your device secure, including ensuring your computer is free of viruses or malware. What are hardware wallets? Hardware wallets are a variant of code wallets. As the name suggests, they are hardware and not necessarily connected to the internet. Hardware wallets offer security by completely avoiding the online exposure of private keys. Hardware wallets save private keys on a physical device in an offline environment and work just like a flash drive. They are the most easy to use crypto wallet types in code wallets because you can simply connect them easily to computers or any other device by using a USB drive. They are great for storing large amounts of cryptocurrency you don't need to move around often and they offer more control. Some of the popular uh, hardware wallets in use presently include Trezor Wallet, the famous Ledger Wallet, and many others from different manufacturers. There you have it. The best cryptocurrency wallet for you will depend on your needs, your goals, your situation, and what you'd like to accomplish, short-term or long-term, with your cryptocurrency. Understanding how crypto wallets work will assist you in choosing right and in making the right decision. So go ahead, click the link in the description below to read more about non-custodial crypto wallets. If you find this video informative, please do like the information, like the video and subscribe to this channel. So you will be the first to know when we release new videos. Remember, this is not financial advice. Crypto investing is highly risky and you should do your own research. Until next time, keep learning.